snobbism, snobbism against it, which I suppose was particularly articulated by punk. Yet there were people, there were people like me, and you know, I suppose Robin Gristle and Cabaret Voltaire and all my contemporaries, who really wanted to get their hands on them and fuck them about, really. Nowadays, the mini moog is part of the furniture, which is handy given how it looks. Still a classic with a kit, it made a recent guest appearance on the Mercedes number one hit, Put Underground, from Godzilla. Oh well. It did various things in mini moog. One of the most important things the mini moog did was for the first time that a keyboard player could do a solo and could be heard. I know it sounds really daft, but the Hammond organ, I mean, it was the night, I remember going to see bands in the 60s and things, but as soon as it came to the organ solo, we really had to go quiet, so it could just about be heard. It's really naff. Or if you, you know, at the piano, it would really have to go really quiet, because the only way you could hear. And then the band kept going again. I mean, it was a guitar as heaven. The mini mode will capture the concrete. It's the equivalent of Cut and play as tambourine. I mean, you can put a tambourine amongst 5,000 guitar players playing flat out, and you're still here, the tambourine. The mini mode is exactly the same. Suddenly, you had an instrument you could solo on. That was the greatest thing that, that, that uh, the mode brought to the keyboard. Suddenly, the keyboard player you know, really could be heard. And it was, uh, I don't think Bob really realised that when he, when he first put it all together. But um, it, it, nobody has ever. I'm even remotely close to producing a solo synth sound that can do things that this can do. Mm -hmm.